Hey love, so today we are going to do what I feel like is a long awaited video. I feel like I have gotten more requests for this video than like any video of life. So it is the ColourPop Highlighter Swatch Fest and Review. Yes, I ended up picking up nine of them. I was just kind of in a frenzy <laughs> when I saw that they were up and I just kind of, I was leaving work, like walking to my car and I was like, I need this, I need this, I need this. I pretty much ordered every single one that I figured I could use that said it was like up to a goldy shade. Any of the super dark ones I didn't order. The only one that I don't think that I could get away with as a highlight is just the darkest one that I have in here, but it's really beautiful. And any of these I can use as eyeshadows too. That was kind of my thinking. If I can't use it as a highlighter, I'll use it as an eyeshadow all about you know me those champagne shimmery shades so there's nothing I can't go wrong with these so we're just gonna jump in I'm gonna do some swatches and show you what they got and they're eight dollars a piece if you don't know that on the ColourPop website there are I think 15 in total right now they're so pretty so yes I'm gonna bring you in and swatch them for you I'm gonna go probably from the lightest to the deepest of what I have all right, let's go. I always feel like I'm really up close with you right here. But this is the first one. This one is Stole the Show. It's a nice, like, white gold shade is what I think of. They're super, really soft. And they have, like, a slightly different texture than the blushes do. The blushes, I feel like, are a little stiffer. These ones are a little smoother. So this is what this guy looks like. It's a nice kind of, it's the widest one. Probably the widest and lightest of all of them. And probably my favorite, so let's see. They feel extra wet, if that makes sense. So that's what that guy looks like. Really beautiful. That'll be really beautiful as a highlight or on the lid, like, whoo. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. And this next one, this is Monster. I feel like it's just like the same kind of idea as the last one, but it's got a nice pinky duochrome tint to it. It transfers much pinker than it looks in the pot. What am I, what am I doing? I should be doing this. So definitely more pink on the swatch than it is in the little pot, but it's so beautiful. I really love it. It's definitely a little, different for a highlighter if you're not used to it. I actually have a highlighter that's called the Porcelain Pink from MAC. I think it was part of a limited edition collection. It's got kind of a pink tint like this too and I love it so I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this guy. So hopefully you can see that right there. I'm gonna put Stole the Show on this hand too just so you can see the comparison now that I've figured out what I'm doing. There you go. So that's Stole the Show and that is Monster. Now this one is Hippo. This one is, again, they're all kind of, I feel like the same amount of opaqueness, but then this one's got a purple tint. So it's kind of a lilac undertone, not even undertone. It's there. Oh, you're shocked. I think they're all so pretty, but they are. I love me some highlights and I love me some color pop. So it's just really beautiful. I am going in about three times to get the swatches this opaque, so they're not quite as intense as they look right here on my hand. But again, that's Hippo right there. So now it's a little bit different, and I love that. This next one is Lunch Money. I feel like it's just a little bit deeper than Stole a Show. A little more champagne-y instead of white gold. A little more opaque as well. Yeah, with just one swipe, I got about as much pigmentation as I did with these with three. Put one more on there for you. This is gonna be a really beautiful lid shade as well. How I think I'm gonna use them on days that I wanna wear melon lids, they'll be really great for just like a wash of color on the lid. When you're just like minimal makeup, but you want a little extra something, they're just a nice sheen. I mean, don't get me wrong, they can be super intense, but you can just get like a nice little glow from them. See, this one is Smoke and Whistles. Again, I feel like, well, I have them in color order. So this one, I feel like this one's got a little bit of a rosy tint to it. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. Kind of more true champagne than even the last one. Kind of a pinky champagne. 
Sorry, I'm not trying to flip you guys off. It just seems to work the best to do it from that finger. So you can see here, this one, the last one was a little bit more yellow, goldy tone, and this one's a little more pinky peach toned. Or rose tone, if you will. This one is Spoon. This one arrived broken, sadly, but I totally just smushed it down in there. What I love about this guy, oh, cool. look at this. The glitter, this one is glittery. I feel like all of the other ones, yeah, all of the other ones are just kind of shimmery so far. This one's got glitter. This is gonna be beautiful as a shadow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you get one that's broken, just smoosh it down in there and you can make it work. I'm gonna tilt it up there. I don't want to tilt it too far just in case it falls out. So you can see that right there. I love how every time I swatch them, I realize that one is more like peach or more pink than the other. So now I feel like it's like kind of yellow goldy, pinky, peachy. It's kind of the peachy glittery one. This next one is Tease Cake. It's a definite. This one looks much more like a blush to me. On um, my skin tone, it's definitely gonna look more like a blush. It's a little darker. It's kind of a peachy pink highlighter. Oh, Let's see it down here. How beautiful all of those are! It's just like okay. this one is Butterfly Beach. Definitely kind of a bronzy gold. This one's gonna be a really beautiful. It's gonna be a really beautiful eyeshadow for me again. I think this one's gonna be a little too dark for a highlight for my skin tone, but it's beautiful and I'm going to definitely find a use for it. It's like butter. Look how opaque that guy is. Bam. How beautiful is this gonna be on the lid? Perfect like bronzy summer look for sure. Going down the arm now. Yeah, you can see how much more opaque that guy is than all of the rest. Oh, it's so pretty though. It's like a rose gold bronze. Yes. Butterfly Beach and then Wisp were the two that I was like, I don't know if they're gonna work, but they're beautiful. So I actually want to order the rest of the highlighters because I'm crazy. Wisp is like a really nice Kind of antique gold is what it looks like to me. Really should start reading the descriptions again, but I don't know. I just ordered things. Definitely a gold. Look at that. Ooh, straight up gold when you swatch it. Looks like a nice, like, kind of antique bronzy gold in the little pot, but then it's like, bang, gold in your face. Right down here. All right. So, just to recap what I have got, I have Stole the Show, which is the, the probably the lightest and most pale girl friendly one, but I feel like the first three are all very similar. They just are in like opacity, in opacity and lightness, they just have different undertones and shades. They're totally different colors, but they're all just like, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you get what I'm saying. The amount of like opacity and texture and effect that they give and the amount of shimmer and everything, they are very similar. They're just three different tones. So the more universal, what, universal one that I think is a great highlighter that's almost anyone's gonna be able to get away with is still the show. And we have Monster, which is a pinky toned one, Hippo, which is a purple toned one, and then we have Lunch Money, which is my other favorite one. Smoke and Whistles, which is the kind of peachy pink one. And then this one, that's kind of more peachy, is Spoon. Cheesecake is the more opaque pinky one. Butterfly Beach is this bronzy one. And then this golden one is Whis. All right, loves, what do you guys think? Which ones did you pick up? These are all so beautiful. Maybe you can see it like from far away, like the difference in, oh, so pretty. And like I said, if you don't want to use any of these as a highlight, they would make really beautiful shadows. 
I'm all about the shimmery shades. I haven't tried them in shadows, and I honestly haven't gotten very much use out of them yet. I just got them the day before yesterday. So I can't really tell you anything about the wear or anything. I've heard that they don't set down and stay as well as some of the shadows do. But I feel like that's okay. I'm not going to... As long as you aren't like touching your cheeks, and especially if you use a setting spray, you should be totally fine. But again, that's just what I've heard. I haven't tried them, so I can't say for myself. I'm hoping that they stay pretty well. They look really beautiful, what I've seen, like when I've seen in photos and on the skin, they just look gorgeous. I have them all upside down, so you can't even see what they look like. I don't know why I'm even holding this like this, because I'm crazy. No, it makes more sense. So you can kind of see the range that I got. The next, oh, let's see nine. The other ones were all really dark, really deep, or really bright. So clearly, if you have really pale skin, it's just going to look like a really shimmery blush, which you can totally rock that if you would like to. I usually don't go that bold. I tend to go for a matte blush with a ton of highlighter on top. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you want to see a demo video or tips and tricks with these, let me know that as well, and please, as always, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and please share this so I can, so we can reach other people, and it just helps me out so much to help this channel grow, and to help our little family grow. So, I love you guys so much, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!